Hello. Hello. Let's go. Let's have a good day. I'm excited. I am excited. We are going to have a beautiful, delightful, awesome, tremendous day. Go lay down, but mate. Go lay down. Scram, kid. You bother me, huh? You bother me, kid. Scram. <laughs> Let's start off with this song because I want to see if YouTube will strike it. It is called The Old Rugged Cross. The Old Rugged Cross. I want to see if they'll strike it, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna sing this first. Number 322. Let's go, baby. On a hill far away Stood an old rugged cross, the emblem of suffering and shame. And I love that old cross where the dearest and best for a world of lost sinners was slain. And so I'll cherish the old rugged cross Till my trophies at last I lay down I will cling to the old rugged cross And exchange it someday for cross I will ever be true its shame and reproach gladly bear then he'll call me someday to my home far away where his glory forever I'll share and so I'll cherish the old rugged cross bum, 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 till my trophies at last I lay down I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a crown. I think I sang this song yesterday, but I wanted to sing it again because YouTube didn't strike it yesterday and it kind of hurt my feelings a little bit. So I figured I would just sing it again and see what happens. Come on, YouTube, be a homie. First time you told me I sounded like Alan Jackson. Hey, Nate Dog, yo, yo. What up, homie? You are the best. There's no doubt about that. Let's go. We're just playing some friendly Demogorgon. We're having a good day. We, we has reformed, my brother. We has reformed. We has changed. We has changed our wicked ways. And I have the proof to show it, too. Here, let me, let me show you guys real quick, because I want you to know just how... Just how uh, how reformed I am. I am so reformed. I am so tame now. Let's go here. Let's take a look at some of these some of these absolutely lovely teams that we faced yesterday. And I did. I faced one team that I really, really, really liked. They were super nice and super sweet. And I'm gonna take a. This is them right there. You see this one? This endangered species. This is a streamer. This is a streamer. Only these are people of surpassing excellent quality. They're delightful human beings, and I highly recommend them. Um, they don't belong in this section. They belong in the great teams I face section. Uh, this section is kind of like my wall of shame section. And then here we are. Here we go. Rank one, 
killer already. Yeah. See, we're a hero now. We don't kill survivors. We we save them. We save them one at a time. And I'm gonna I'm gonna save them live on stream today for your for your guys' viewing enjoyment. We we're gonna save these teams. We has reformed, my brother. We has reformed. And for those of you who don't know, <clears throat> SA Nate is an amazing survivor. I mean, like top tier, top one percent survivor. Just, just absolutely lovely in every way possible. Definitely throw that guy a follow. And I do love you, S.A. Nate. You're, you're amazing and marvelous. I'm going to tell you guys a true story. Uh, Brother Love went into a tournament, and this team, this team said, you know what, guys? We could, we could milk this guy for points, or we could absolutely curb stomp him. <laughs> they absolutely curb stomped me in that tournament. But it was delightful, and I'm very appreciative, S.A. Nate. One of my favorite things that ever happened to me uh, was when I read, when I watched the Angry Cherries VOD of that tournament. Oh my gosh. That was so beautiful and lovely. I, I love getting roasted, you know. I love getting an emotional response out of people because, I mean, sometimes you only get one chance to make a first impression on someone. And, uh... <laughs> I'm like Bender Rodriguez from Futurama. Remember me. Remember me. Now remember, we're just one-hooking people in this match, ladies and gentlemen. But I, I greatly appreciate you, Nate. I think you're a wonderful human being. Uh, you was really laying it on the killers last night. And killers is toxic nowadays, man. There ain't no doubt about that. There's some toxic killers out there. Everybody's tunneling and face camping. And I hate to say it, the reasons behavior changed the game so much is the only thing that works anymore. People have given up on 12 hooking, and they decided that all they can do from now on is just is just face camp people. But I love you very much, Nate. Um, I love Prowling Grounds, Angry Cherry, uh, Snow Queen, all, all you SA members, Jacqueline, you're, you're fantastic. You're such a great group of people. I greatly appreciate you very, very much. Even though you 100% you curb stomped me, you beat me legitimately. And that's, uh, that's something that Brother Love absolutely respects. Because, baby, I'm the best. And, uh... <laughs> and when I get beat, I let people know about it. Oh, man, let's go. Let's go. Hey, you're a quick one. You're a quick one. This dude's looking back behind his shoulder. He's looking at me like no woman ever looked at me in my entire life. <laughs> it makes me suspicious. It makes me nervous, man. It makes me nervous. What you doing? What you doing? <laughs> we need number one and we need number three. Let's go, baby. I definitely appreciate you, Nate. You are a lovely human being. S.A. Nate. If you ain't watching his channel, you, you just ain't you just ain't cool. He's just he's the coolest. There are, there is no cooler. Let's go, baby. I was watching a lot of Prowling Dead yesterday. That dude is off the hook, man. I love Prowling Dead. He's just so friendly. He's so friendly. This man, I've only ever seen him get salt once on his channel. Once. And this dude was running no ed, lightborn. He's just so kind. Instead of getting angry at him, people come and subscribe to him. Not even joking. Uh, that should have hit. That's hit every time I've ever done it in my life. Maybe he's got the uh, fast bulk build. Dunna, dunna, don't care. It's just a video game. We're just trying to save these people, whether they want to be saved or not. Nah, I don't think so, buddy. I don't think so. Boom! How you like them apples? My name is Alexander Hamilton, and I'm not going to throw away my shot. We just need the, uh, the Claudette, and as a Claudette main, let me tell you, they are super sneaky. The one thing that you can guarantee about a Claudette is they're wearing that skin because they don't want to be seen or found. 
Um, I play Ash personally, but I'm still a Claudette main. But Ash is just such an alpha Chad that I, I have to run his skin because he's he's actually one of my heroes. You guys might not remember this, but he was on the TV show Hercules. He played the Prince of Thebes. Um, you know, Army of Darkness. Never gonna forget Ash. Ash is just lovely. Just lovely. Let's go, baby. Um, I do have a special game plan for the end of the stream. It's not going to count on this streak. It's something completely unique. But Jacqueline made me a thumbnail, and I've been working on this secret build. And uh, I want to show off the secret build, but it is not part of this streak. Remember that, ladies and gentlemen. It is not part of the streak. It'll be the 11th game today. I'm going to put a be right back in front of it. God bless you and your family and Nate, you and your family. I hope you're you're all well. I hope you're all healthy. And I pray that the Lord gives you guys a special blessing. Thank you so much. You you guys are so lovely. That is that's amazing. I, I greatly appreciate you guys. But I do have a special game plan for today. And uh <laughs> Let's just say the team I face at the end of the day, it, they ain't going to be happy. Um, but Jacqueline, who's an amazing artist, ladies and gentlemen, if you need thumbnails or a beautiful painting or something, please contact her. Um, she, she's going through an adoption process right now, and I think adoption is one of the greatest things you can do in life. But she made a thumbnail for me of Zap Brannigan Demogorgon. Well, I made a special build called... Brannigan's Law. Listen, I didn't make Brannigan's Law. I just enforce it. <laughs> I absolutely adore ah! that Brannigan. <laughs> SA Nate Dog gifted. What? Gifted a tier one sub of the hamburger. God bless you, Nate. Hamburger, please enjoy all the benefits of of the blessings here bless you and your family and I, I wish you health and love and happiness and uh, you are an exceptional human being and Nate a double blessing on your head muzzle top brother muzzle top thank you so much <laughs> yeah I was watching Nate last night and I could tell because me and Nate are very similar human beings we are so competitive like there's no lose in our vocabulary there's, there's, there's no, oh, we had a good game. Nah, nah, bro. That's just us coping. That's copium. We want to win, and only wins matter. And I was watching Nate play last night, and that joker, he was angry, man. But he was, but he was also doing a really good job of Survivor, despite it. Like, he, uh, he did really well. But I'd be angry, too, man. Killers nowadays are, and I'm a killer main, they got to play scummy. It sucks. I hate it. I hate ELO. I wish they'd remove it from the game. Um, I would. I would much rather 12 hook people, ladies and gentlemen. I would much. Four months ago, I could 12 hook survivors and still be a red rank killer. Um, nowadays, nah. You can't do that anymore. You can't play nice. You can't play nice with people. And it's terrible because the the not so smart killers have figured this out. And that's when things get really bad. When the killers who don't understand what meta is figure out the current meta, it is a bad day for everybody. And uh, I'm sorry, I know they do it. I know they face camp, they tunnel. <sighs> it's terrible, man. Let's read some chat. You guys are chatting it up. Let's see what's going on. A hype train? What? Uh, let's see. <laughs> you did wonderful, sir. I enjoyed it. I, I will evolve after this game, my brother. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, SA is a great community, no doubt about it, no doubt. Let's see, Hamburger wasn't so poor he wouldn't subscribe. Well, baby, let me introduce you to, tw to Twitch Prime, man. Uh, if you've got Amazon Prime or if your parents have Amazon Prime. <laughs> Brother Love sings religious songs, man. We do Bible family-friendly content. You're never going to hear me cuss. Like, uh, I'm safe for the kids and the family. Um, yeah, Nate, you're awesome. Nate is cool. 
Uh, yeah, it said that they're doing things to fix the game and all they're doing is making it work. Yeah, they're liars, man. They're not They're not fixing diddly squat. They're not fixing diddly squat. They're not. Oh, come on. They spent three months and all they accomplished was nerfing Clown, the Twins, and Nemesis. Three killers, I think everybody could agree, could use buffs instead of nerfs. And uh, they're giving us back the Cenobite voice lines that I bought three months ago, right? Whoop de doo! <laughs> Whoop de doo! You guys accomplished so much in three months. I'm gonna tell you what else they accomplished. They accomplished somehow to lose 20% of their player base and 50% of their peak player base. Think about that for a second. 50% of their peak player base they have lost in the last four months since they released SBMM. Congratulations, Behavior. Brilliant, brilliant decision making. Uh, let's GG these guys. GG. Live on TTV. Oh yeah, you're, you're, you're completely fine. You did great. You guys are lovely. You're delightful. Guys, these are brand new survivors. Um, I only play the lowest ranked survivors in Dead by Daylight because we're a hero now. We're a hero. Um, yeah. You better have trash talk me and call me back. No, I didn't. I didn't trash talk. <laughs> not a chance. Not a chance. Um, so if you ever see me face a team uh, during this streak. Rest assured that they 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 got like ten hours in Dead by Daylight, ladies and gentlemen. They're they're brand new. They're they're just babies. Let's sing our opening thing song real quick. Just waking up in the morning, gotta thank God. I don't know, but the day seems kind of odd. No barking from the dog, no fog, and Mama cooked the breakfast with no clod. Et. <laughs> I can't believe today was a good day. Mmm. And today has been. <clears throat> a very good day already. Let's go ahead and evolve. Let's go ahead and evolve real quick. From Dragon's Grasp to Rancor. Anything that you guys see that you like, just let me know. I'll give you 10 seconds and then I'll just, I'll, I'll pick the first one I see. Let's see. Immortal Ops, good morning. How are you doing? I hope you're having a good day. It's like they want to, to to run the people who stuck with them off. Yeah, see, that's the bad thing about big business is they don't care about the people who've already bought skins. They want the brand new influx of people who have not bought skins yet. So there's no such thing as loyalty in big business. You know what I'm saying? There's no such thing as loyalty. Number 12, sounds delightful. Sounds delightful. Mad grit. I think I'm going to get rid of Make Your Choice. I didn't use it the last game anyway because, you know, <laughs> I've ever told you guys how lazy I am. Um, <laughs> we will put on Mad Grit instead. Sounds wonderful. Great choice. Great choice. Let's see here. And guys, if you've ever been bullied in Dead by Daylight, let me assure you. That Lightborn plus Mad Grit plus Bamboozle plus Barbecue and Chili, you will never have a problem in Dead by Daylight. Ever. Like, you will never get bullied by anyone. You never have to worry about body blocks. Um, you will absolutely destroy a team that tries to bully you with that build. I'm kind of a slow learner, so it took me a whole year to learn how to be good at Killer. And I got bullied like religiously every single day I played this game it's the time of the day where I tell a joke my daughter bought me a dad joke book um, and it's delightful for Christmas I love it so let's tell a joke real quick somebody stole the toilet seat at the police station Investigators have nothing to go on. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Uh, what is it, baby? You want to see Mama and Lily? What is it? 
Yo, good dog. Just lay down and be a quiet little mutt mutt. Let's go. Uh oh. I've I've killed this person before. <laughs> They're on my list. I keep track of teams that I've killed before. People I've killed. I have definitely killed Lucifer before. Um, let me find that team I was looking at earlier real quick because I want to move them. They don't deserve to be in this list. They deserve to be in the list of the absolutely beautiful survivors I faced. Because they was PMing me after the game. They were super cool. I followed them both. Okay, I moved them to the great teams that I faced. And I'll call it Brolo versus Endangered Species. And I'm going to tell you guys a secret to uh, hitting Eerie 1 really fast. Here's, here's the secret. If you double pip every game, it only takes half the time. <laughs> and I have a new build. It's called Brannigan's Law. And let me tell you something. Even the best teams were not able to defeat Brannigan's Law. And I'm going to show it to you as game number 11 today. And uh, this is not part of our friendly streak. This is just for YouTube purposes. So it's as if it never happened. It's just imagination land stuff. We're going to do Brannigan's Law. And I'm going to show you how I absolutely curb stomp any team with this build. It is delightful. And that's the best hint that I can give you guys. Because um, you would have to be a fan of Futurama to remember what Brannigan's Law is. But I remember... I remember that's where Leela found Nibbler. Let's go. Yeah, I'm a simple man. I'm a simple man who likes simple things. I like the Squid Billies. I like Aqua Teen Hunger Force. I like Metal Ocalypse. Um, I like Futurama. And I love God. And I love you guys. I hope you're all having a beautiful, blessed Sunday. We'll sing a song after this game. Yeah, I was upset yesterday because YouTube didn't strike my video. And I was like, come on, man. Help my brother out. Well, for the Prince of Darkness, you're, you're pretty terrible at Death by Daylight. I'm just going to say that. I was expecting more. Where's my golden fiddle at? My name's Johnny, and it might be a sin, but I take that bet you're going to regret because I'm the best it's ever been. Johnny, you rising up your bow and play your fiddle hard. Devil's loose in Georgia. Let's go, baby. Hey, Kate. Hello, darling. It's nice to see you. It's been a long time. You're just as lovely as you used to be. And I could tell she's never been hooked this way before. You notice they're giving tattoos to all the ladies lately? Weird. Okay, we need number two and number four. <laughs> I guess it's one of those examples where uh, art imitates life, right? Tattoos are super popular nowadays, so they're putting them on all their uh, character models. Let's go. Yeah, you're sneaky. Look at you. Look at you, you little sneaky Pete, you. <laughs> this is the kind of survivor you gotta look out for. This is the brother love kind of survivor, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh! Missing by that much. <laughs> He's a quick one. So we're just missing, uh, we got the ninja. We're just missing, uh, Viridian. What a weird, isn't that like a drug or something, Viridian? Now that's a, that's a planet from Star Trek, isn't it? <laughs> It's something, I swear. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Hey, you guys did it. Good job. I can't believe they did it. They did fantastic. Yeah, I even thought about playing Survivor last night, but guys, you, you just don't understand how much I hate Survivor. 
Like, I admire good survivors like Nate and Endangered Species and, and people like that. I admire them with all my heart. But I, uh, I ain't got what it takes, man. I've got the mental fortitude for killer, but I don't got what it takes to be a good team member. That's just the God's honest truth right there. Oh, you got me. You got me. You you turned left when I thought you was going to turn right. M. Barrison. Anyway, that's the girl I don't need anyway. What am I doing? I'm wasting my life chasing that girl. I need the other one. She is in this game somewhere, right? She's not she's not pretending to be in the game. She's here somewhere, right? <laughs> I see everybody except her. Hey, look at you! <laughs> look at you! We've got some sneaky survivors today, man. Oh, I hate this loop right here. These loops that have the pallets on them are the worst. They're so safe. I don't think so. I don't think so, sweetheart. No, 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 no. She wants a man with the slow claw. She wants to love her with the easy touch. Uh, we done, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. This is a corn map, and I hate corn. This is a... Uh, yeah, this does not spark joy. Let's sing a song. We have a couple of traditional songs we like to sing when we start to stream up. T dude already running towards the door. You're my kind of survivor, my dude. You are my kind of survivor. Uh, Lightborn, Mad Grit, Starstruck, Agitation. Yeah, that's great. That's great. <laughs> yeah, um... Can you spam the attack button while carrying a survivor? I, I could. I could. Um, maybe next game. Hey, Prowling Dead. How are you doing, brother? God bless you. What a wonderful stream you had last night. What a wonderful stream. Yeah, Prowling Dead, he's amazing. The dude is a... Uh, he's like the Mozart of editing videos. I'm not even joking. Dude was complaining last night. He's like... Oh, they're showing me the end product, but they're not showing me how they got there. I wanna, I wanna do it myself. I wanna put my beautiful hands on it and craft something spectacular. It was awesome. I do, I do love his content. I like artistic people because I'm not artistic at all. Um, but somebody on the forums called me the A word uh, that rhymes with artistic. And I thought that was funny. <laughs> I'm not allowed to say it on YouTube, but I thought it was very funny. <laughs> uh, it's such a good feeling to know you're alive. It's such a happy feeling you're growing inside. And when you wake up ready to say, I think I'll make a snappy new day. It's such a good Feeling, a very good feeling, the feeling you know you're alive. Thank you, Lord, for another day. It's such a good feeling to know you're in tune. It's such a happy feeling to find you're in bloom. And when you wake up ready to say, I think I'll make a snappy new day. It's such a good feeling, a very good feeling, the feeling you know that we're friends. And I'll be back when the day is new, Lord willing, and I'll have more Demogorgon content for you. And you'll have things you want to talk about, and I will too. Um, I'm excited about the new Blood Point rewards. But I'm going to be honest with you guys, if it was a trillion blood points, I still wouldn't want to get a survivor all the way to rank one. Um, words cannot describe my feelings when I play survivor. <laughs> I, uh, I'm, I just don't like it anymore. I just don't like it. And it's not because of the tunneling and face camping. That stuff doesn't bother me. I just, every time I play survivor, I think to myself, I could be playing killer right now. GG's. I could be playing killer and uh, and I'm not.
forgot to change my name. Guys, I'm going to give you a piece of advice. Try and, try and make sure you listen to it. Don't get old. <laughs> Don't Stay young and beautiful forever. Stay young and beautiful because when you're old like brother love, you forget everything, man. You forget everything. Goodness gracious, we need to add a perk. And next next match, I'm going to make sure I use Mad Grit. Yes, I will. I promise. But let's have a good day. Let's have a good day. There, I changed my name. Let's uh, switch the perks real quick. Because we won another game. We let them go, and they had a good time. We got some really good perks in uh, Evolution 3, ladies and gentlemen. Some really good perks here. If you see something you like, just let me know. <laughs> just chilling with Brother Love. <laughs> oh. uh, I have a new thing that I'm looking to do for Killer Redemptions. I'm hoping to get Killer to rank 1, but the, the million-ish will help getting your Killers to Prestige 3. Amen. It sure would. Until Nate and friends wanted to play, I had no plans on Survivor last night. Yeah, I love it when you guys play together. There's nothing better in life than having friends that you can play video games with. Um, you just need a good team to play with and it makes it a lot more fun. Absolutely, Nate. Absolutely. Well, nobody picked, so I'm going to pick Rancor. I'm going to pick Rancor. Let's get rid of uh, Zanshin Tactics. And we will go with Rancor instead. Boom. Boom. Well, let's go. Let's do it. Now, I will try and kill my obsession this game. But I don't want you guys to think that I'm not a hero anymore because I kill somebody. There's two perks in particular that involve killing survivors. And since I'm trying my absolute best to use the perks I have, it's only right that I try and use the perk, ladies and gentlemen. Um, but what I'll do is I'll try and let them get as many points as they can that game, and uh, then I'll just do it at the end. It, it just has to be done. It's a perk. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's part of uh, Evolution Demogorgon. Let's go, baby. Let's have a fun time. <clears throat> <laughs> Got to run after survivors as pig with two, with two perks. That's funny. Uh, I like the pig as a concept. I hate playing the pig. <laughs> pig is a very fun concept. It's it's always great when you get a, a headset pop. It feels so good and satisfying. But uh, what an absolute garbage killer right now. They need some buffs, man. I'm gonna be honest. Trapper, pig. Clown, um, the doctor, they all need buffs and they need them bad. Here's what I'm thinking. Remove the uh, invigorate bottle from clown and all of the killers that I just mentioned, give them a 2% movement speed increase. That's it. Just across the board, make them the fastest killers in the game and that will tremendously help their current state. It's such a simple change. 2% doesn't sound like a lot. It's a single stack of like play with your food. But uh, it makes a humongous difference. They're just, they're terrible killers, man. There's, there's nothing, their kits are horrible. They need something better in their kits. And I know they just did a pass on the pig, but uh, I don't personally think it was a very good change. I'm, I'm just gonna say that. Now I love behavior. This is my favorite game. I love everybody that works hard at behavior, um, and I know you're doing your best. I know you're doing it, but you're just a small indie company. I mean, you're just the largest video game creator in Canada. You know what I'm saying? You, you guys are doing your best. Um, add proximity chat to this game, please. I want to talk some trash with survivors. Here's two things you can do right now to increase your sales. A, remove ELO, or B, show us our ELO so we can brag. And uh, C, because I can't count, 
Um, add proximity chat so I can talk trash to the survivor, or so they can talk trash to me when they get me in a good loop. You know what I'm saying? I don't care. Who cares? Listen, this is an adult game. Let's be honest. Let's, let's be 100% honest. I know I play it PG, but this is an adult game. I would love to hear survivors talking trash to me. It would really egg me on during the match. I would love it. It would be good content for every killer main in this game. It would be great content. Oh, she's only level 5. Great googly moogly. Thanos was a hero and he killed half the population. Yeah, I agree. Thanos was a hero. He was the hero we needed, wasn't he? He sure was. Thanos was always my favorite Marvel character. Um, so I really love part one of the Infinity War. Part two, kind of sad, you know? It has a... Uh, <sighs> just, 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 just kind of sad. So I'm going to tell you the thing about Haddonfield. Here's the secret to Haddonfield. You don't want to be the killer who's running around this entire map trying to find survivors. You want to incidentally come across a survivor as you're doing something else. Like, take me for example. There's somebody here. I don't care. I'm going to lay down a portal. I'm going to activate two portals. And then I'm going to go to the center building and come back here. I'm trying to do something that's known as zone control. I'm trying to create zone control. <clears throat> There's a witch among us. And once I have established zone control, I'm going to try and defend that zone. Yep, the witch is right beside me. I don't care. Hey, we found somebody. So you know how Bill Belichick invented like the zone defense? And he did so great. Well, maybe he didn't invent it, but he definitely revolutionized it um yeah it's the same way it's the same way you just want to have good zone defense going on we need one two and four one two and four huh they broke it already you monsters how could you touch my stuff like that have you no scruples person just just doesn't respect me at all just touching my things but that's okay this is exactly why we invented the build Brannigan's Wall which I will be more than happy to show you guys hey coward where you at why you run so quick man why you run and hide so quick bruh bruh there you are <laughs> What a chicken, man. Come get some, bro. Oh, what? You gonna get in my way? You the hero now? Uh, I don't know if you know this, my brother, but you are, in fact, my obsession. If I was you, I would stay as far away from me as possible. This guy must think he's actually good. This is one of those hero survivors that think they're good at the game, right? Oh, you're so good. Oh, what will I ever do? Woe is me. Woe is me. And you're down already like a chump. Like an absolute chump. You were, you were stepped on, my lovely survivor. You're welcome. I'm kind of the hero if you think about it. <laughs> we need number one and four. Number one and four. How you like them apples? Dude thought he was a somebody in this game. Listen, this is a party game, guys. You cannot take this game seriously. At all. The double window. That is so nasty, isn't it? He actually did really good there. I thought he was dead to rights, but he did fantastic. Good job, Mr. King. Good job. You did great. And that was a mistake. But I do admire the good job that you did there. You got an extra couple of tiles in. You did fantastic. Okay, we're looking for a uh, thing men. Thing men.
Somebody got to save already. Good job, good job. Do to do do to do do to do 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 skidoo. Put this right here. Now it doesn't matter if I find thing or not. What actually matters is that I find ocean eyes by the end of this game. That's what I really care about. That's what Brother Love really cares about, is finding that guy. I got a fever, and the only cure is more rancor. Let's go, baby. Yeah, he's right back on that, too. Look at him. They trying to finish that gym. They broke it that quick. I'm impressed. Well, we can't stop that gym from getting done. That gin's a goner. If I could have teleported there, I think I could have stopped it. But we ain't got no slowdown perks. Why are you touching my stuff, man? That's not cool. That's not cool, bro. I guess I'll come over here. Put one right there. We do got a lot of portals after all. And I'm just going to run straight to the House of Pain and try and find the Fanny. I need to find one of these two survivors by the end of the game. Because I want to Rancor the one dude who thinks he's really good at the game. And uh, <laughs> that'll show him. Somebody that I used to know. Now we saw somebody in here, didn't we? Guys, I'm willing to check every single one. Hey! I knew I saw somebody down here. You're just not the one I wanted. You're just not the survivor I was interested in. You're a quick one. Put her on the ground. Are you actually breaking my portal? You know that helps me, right? You're so weird. Yeah, good job, buddy. You did it. Thank you, I guess. Somebody broke the portal upstairs. Still looking for Fing. Not seen hide nor hair of her. This entire game. She is a good Claudette, this thing. She is a good Claudette. Hey, there you are. I don't want you to think I don't care about you. I want you to up pip too, sweetheart. We're trying to be friendly to survivors. Bam! No, come on, game. I hit her a second before that. A whole second. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I reckon I reckon I got dedicated, huh? Them's the brakes. Them's the brakes. What 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 can you do? Man, you are so boring. I wish you had Raincourt. Cause I definitely want to kill you right now. I just want you to know that. Now I gotta pretend like I'm hitting people with her. Because I haven't used Mad Grit any. They haven't been altruistic. They haven't tried to body block me. I'm pretty sure the guy who's Rancor is upstairs right now. I'm 90% certain he's upstairs. So I'm going to go up there. And uh, let him finish the generator. Oh, he's, he's too cowardly to finish it. Oh. Well, there's nothing I can do about that, ladies and gentlemen. The game doesn't let me actually do generators for survivors. Um, yeah. Sometimes it just be like that. But what I am going to do is I'm going to follow this guy with a purpose. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. There he is. Mr. Dead by Daylight. <laughs> do you got any last words? <laughs> <laughs> Don't feel
feel bad for him, guys. He's the one that came looking for it, remember? He's the one that wanted some. Well, get some. <laughs> Be careful what you wish for. <laughs> Be careful what you wish for. But remember, guys, we're a hero. We are the hero of this story. We're a hero demogorgon. We're, we're saving lives as, as fast as we can. GG's, my lovelies. GG's. We just, we had a perk we had to use. What, what can I say? There's two perks in the game that involve killing survivors. Uh, it is what it is. Let's see here. Imagine the amount of slurs people would say with proxy chat. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Worst map on the game. Brannigan's must be a full evolution of the demo. No, it's a special build that I've been working on. It's called Brannigan's Law. It's from uh, Futurama. Uh, Demogorgon got a snack today. It was fun. I hope you had fun in your game as Pig, too, Prowling Dead. I know Pig can be a, a terribly difficult um, killer to play at times. Let's sing a song. Let's sing a song. We haven't sang Jesus Loves Me yet today. And I do love that song. Let's GG these guys. GG. Let's see here. <laughs> Ocean Eyes, Black Fire. I don't know what that's from. I have no idea. Maybe it's a song or something. I don't know. Next game, we're going to evolve first. Then I'm going to ready up, and then I'm going to sing a song. Evolve, ready up, sing a song. I got to get rid of uh, Rancor, guys. It's fun to do it once, but uh, any more than that, and people are going to cause shenanigans. So, uh... We have to get rid of it now. I hate to say it. Um, yeah, but we got seven perks left on this list. Anything you guys like, just let me know. Just let me know. We're moving on to game number four already. Number 11, 7-Eleven, seven back no little Joe. Let's go, Lightborn. What an absolute chat of a perk that is. I love Lightborn. Before all the controversy, I'm talking a year ago, this was my favorite perk. I adore Lightborn. It is gorgeous. It is beautiful. Let's go. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves you. Yes, Jesus loves us. The Bible tells us so. Jesus loves me, loves me still. Though I'm very weak and ill. From his shining throne on high comes to watch me where I lie. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves you. Yes, Jesus loves us. The Bible tells us so. Got in the lobby awful quick, so I had to speed it up. Because there's a TTB, I'm gonna show them a kindness because I'm a, I'm a kind person. And I'm going to play a, uh, a party streamer just to be nice. Ready when you ladies are. Well, let's rock this thing. <clears throat> what? I still got Rancor? <laughs> I ain't going to use it. I ain't going to use it, guys. Oh, my goodness. Embarrassing. <laughs> Oh my goodness. That would have been really great information. <laughs> I did not read that in time. I did not read that in time. Oh. Let's see here. Looking for my medicine this morning. Where did I put that stuff at? Where are you at, Mr. Medicine Bottle? 
There you are. Oh. <sighs> That's okay. We'll just hit it on the next game. Not a big deal. But I, I refuse to kill two survivors in a row with that perk. I think my intentions were pretty clear. I didn't want to didn't want to do it. You're such a good puppy. I love you. You're such a good dog. A dimension moment, a uh this medicine I take called serotraline, it messes with your short-term memory. It's not dementia yet. <laughs> let's not uh let's not go there yet. Maybe in 40 years it will be. But right now, it's just uh, me taking Sarah trailing. <sighs> I don't think this game is going to load, which is funny because I, uh, I even gave them a party streamer. Oh, well. This is life. Mm. It did load. Excellent. <clears throat> Let's go. This is a survivor-sided map. Yeah, there's no use in putting down portals. Looking for scratch marks. Sometimes when you point in the direction of a survivor with the killer, the generator will explode because they have spine chill. But not this time. Not yet. Not yet. I would have been willing to bet anything somebody would have spawned over there. Hey, what's up? Ladies and gents, start your engines. Oh, you're just so good. You're just so good with your movement. Let's chase the guy. I could have got that if I would have went earlier. You know what would come in handy right now? Lightborn. Because I know that chick had a flashlight in her hand. She's standing there too. We need uh, two, three, and four. Two, three, and four. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. And the Bible tells us so. I would rather not hit her at all, I'm going to be honest. Why does it even sound like we hit him if it doesn't give us any credit for anything? <sighs> Super frustrating. Frustrated, incorporated. Hello, my love. How are you doing this morning? This is what it feels like every single game at high rank. Just so you know, every single game they run exactly like that at high rank. Every single game. It's not fun. Let's see, we're missing number three and four. But based on how fast they're doing this game, uh, I don't think we got anything to worry about. I think this game is going to be over really quick. They are trying super hard. I regret the party streamers now. <laughs> but that's okay. Such is life. Such is life. Nah, you're terrible at body blocking. No, you got better, huh? 
Let's chase her just to give her a little thrill. Give her uh, viewers some content. That evil killer is chasing our hero there. I don't like it. I don't like it. Go this way, go that way. In your face. In your face. <laughs> Let's pick her up. And I'm going to try and use a uh, mad grit. I'm going to try, but it's going to be hard to catch this Claudette. Where did she go? Yeah, we don't catch her. We'll just set this girl down. This is why you need agitation and iron grasp, in my opinion, if you're going to run Mad Grit. It really needs all the help it can get. Mainly I use Mad Grit just to stop myself from getting bullied at hooks, but they weren't at the hook. If you want to actually chase down survivors, you need a little something extra. We're looking for uh, Yui. That girl right there. Hey, Yui. What's up? What is up? Let's get our fourth hook in, and we will be done with this game. At least she didn't have Lucky Break. That's like one of the worst perks for me. I am terrible against Lucky Break. Terrible. I want to kill her so bad. Words can't describe how much I want to kill that girl. Like, whew, take a deep breath. It's just a video game. We're playing the hero. We're playing the hero in this game. We can't do it. We can't do it. I'm just gonna have to let it go. Let it go. Whew, goodness gracious. Yeah, this is a wonderful balance landing map. And that, uh... That building is absolutely disgusting. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm a little bit frustrated. I don't want to see these guys at the exit gate. So I'm just gonna stand in the corner and we'll sing another song. We will sing another song. Just a little frustrated. You know, no good deed goes unpunished. And I really shouldn't have played a party streamer. I should have known better. I was trying to be kind and all they wanted to do was act like it was an eSport. Whatever. I come to the garden alone While the dew is still on the roses And the voice I hear Falling on my ear, the Son of God discloses, and He walks with me, and He talks with me, and He tells me I am His own, and the joy we share as we tarry there, none other has ever known. I'd stay in the garden with him, though the night around me be falling. But he bids me go through the voice of woe, his voice to me is calling and he walks with me and he talks with me 
And he tells me I am his own And the joy we share as we tarry there None other has ever known Let's go, baby. Let's evolve. One more evolution. One more evolution. Moving on to game number five. Let's do it. What would you guys like to see? This is a pretty garbage perk in my opinion. I mean, if it's the last generator they have to finish, and you got a good three gen set up, then this perk is great. But other than that one very narrow, specific instance, I really don't like it. Number eight. Number eight. The third seal is great. This is a great perk. Survivors hate the third seal. It is really good. Why do I still say I have Remember Me on? Because I do have it on. Well, that explains it. Let's get rid of that. Okay, Lightborn, Madgrit, Shadowborn, Third Seal. Sounds delightful. Sounds delightful. So, against brand new players, Third Seal is amazing. Against veteran survivors, it's not going to do diddly squat. I mean, it'll scare a brand new team into throwing the game. It will not affect the coordinated swift at all. <laughs> it will not affect them at all. But it's a pretty fun perk. I like it. And I like the fact that they changed it. See, this is one of the good things Dead by Daylight did. They changed it to where if I M2, I still get credit for applying it. Um, I believe this is the correct one. Yeah, I'm not going to get tricked again. You ain't getting no uh, party streamer. I done been burned one too many times by you beautiful TTV people. No, no, no. <laughs> not again, not again. <sighs> yeah, it was sad, wasn't it, Iron Anger? Brand new team. Brand new to Dead by Daylight. They were so scared they did the generators in like five minutes. Brand new team. <laughs> That's great, Prowling Dead. That's great. Yeah, what I like to do when I get those kind of challenges is I like to go to that map. And I like to just run the killer around the little, the little house and fall off and, and they give up, you know, like, <laughs> why wouldn't they? <laughs> why wouldn't they give up? And most killers are not hard-headed like Brother Love. See, Brother Love's what we call a chaser. There's a plus and a minus to being a chaser. If you can beat that survivor, that's a plus. And I can beat most survivors. But if you can't beat that survivor... They're going to run you for four gens or five gens and you are going to be embarrassed at the end of the game. And that has happened to me seven times in the history of me playing Dead by Daylight. I will never forget those seven games. Um, now, I grant you, I grant you, um, they were all before I started playing Demogorgon. Um, that is the truth. Um, but still, nevertheless... I will remember all seven of those games. I was playing one with Billy where I was playing M2 only Billy. And I was being so hard-headed about playing M2 Billy. It was a really dumb decision. They had me on the backwater swamp. The one that's got the giant building. And then the two-story building. And the one-story shack. Um, and they just kept running me back to that, um, that house of pain. That giant house of pain. And, and since I was trying to M2 like a moron... Um, I got properly put in my place. <laughs> it hurt. I ain't gonna lie. There were many bitter tears shed upon my pillow that night. It was very sad. <laughs> it was a very sad situation. <sighs> there was much weeping and gnashing of teeth. Because I do not like to get beat that way. 
So I don't recommend being a chaser. Let me be straight up honest with you guys. I don't recommend my play style. I don't think it's right for most people. I think what's way smarter for most people is you do a seven second chase and if you can't get a pallet out of them, you leave them and you go for somebody else. That's the way you apply map pressure. Um, Brother Love is really bad at that. So what do we mean when we say map pressure? Because some people get really confused when we talk about this. What is map pressure, Brother Love? If you have one injured survivor, you have zero map pressure. If you have two injured survivors, and they're not a four-man swift, you do have map pressure, just a little bit. Um, if you slug a survivor and go for a different survivor, that's very good map pressure. A slug survivor at the bottom of a hook is not just map pressure, that's what we call a win condition. You can win an entire game based on that circumstance. So what you guys saw me do when I was going for my streak, I almost always tried to develop the game into that circumstance. I almost always wanted one hooked survivor and one slug survivor at the hook. Um, that was how I won most of those games. And you can manufacture that situation. It's, it's not impossible. Good movement by her. Good movement. I was 100% betting she was just going to run straight back around. Too greedy. It gave it to me. Alright, we're looking for number one and number four. Number one and number four. Well, I know where two survivors are. So I will head in this direction. Number one and number four. Where are we at, ladies? So if you think of Dead by Daylight, think of Dead by Daylight like a four minute clock. The better the team is, the less time you have on the clock. Every second you can keep four pairs of hands off of a generator is a win for you. Because your game is measured in seconds. Um, and that's why it always makes me happy when survivors are working on breaking my portals instead of touching generators. That's literally a win condition for me. Hey, good job there. I would much rather them touch um, my portals than generators. You guys all got dead arms? We just need number four now and we're done. But the sad thing about Dead by Daylight is that you, you really, you can't win anymore by 12 hooking survivors. Hey, at least you got that totem, right? They completely removed that from the game. It makes me super sad. I used to love 12 hooking survivors. Just looking for Fing. They got the pickup. We know where three survivors are. We know where three survivors are right now. But they're not the ones I'm interested in. Man, it looks like all four survivors actually went over there. Really. Good teamwork, I guess. Maybe they're trying to do a reset. I don't know. I can't blame them. I mean, obviously, they know what they're doing. Yep, looks like a reset. There's one survivor. I don't want you. I don't want you. Where's Where's the other two? Where's Fing? Where's Fing at, ladies and gentlemen? Eh... I'm too lazy for this. Let me be honest with you. This is a humongous map. 
I'm gonna look one more time, and if I don't see thing, I, I'm just gonna say forget it. Like, who cares? You you don't need your blood points for chases. That's fine. You don't get your blood points for chases. I'm doing you a favor, literally. Nah, she's just hiding. We're done. We'll sing a song, or we'll we'll chat. We'll do something. <sighs> we got five more games left in this uh, thing. I will sing my preacher's favorite song. My preacher's favorite song. It is very short. That's what makes it so catchy. <laughs> God is so good, God is so good, God is so good, He's so good to us, He cares for us, He cares for us, He cares for us, He's so good to us, God answers prayers, God answers prayers, God answers prayers, He's so good to us. We praise His name, we praise His name, we praise His name, He's so good to us. GG's, GG's, a short, sweet, beautiful little song. Yeah, I don't care. I mean, whatever. If she doesn't want to up-pip this game, that's her decision, isn't it? <laughs> There's nothing I can do about that. I don't care. <laughs> that sounds like a personal problem to me. Alright, that was 10, that was 20, that was 30. We're moving on to our 36th game. Our 36th game. Awesome. As <sighs> soon as they finish. I wonder what kind of country song I'm in the mood for today. I love country. Do you guys like country? Those are my favorite songs. I like heavy metal too. I just don't got the voice for heavy metal. Don't get me wrong. I like listening to Prowl and Dead stuff. He likes a lot of covers by uh, heavy metal groups. They're really good. I just don't got a, I don't got a voice for it, unfortunately. Alright, I think I've found a good song. This is a song by Randy Travis. On one hand, I count the reasons I could stay with you. And hold you close to me all night long. So many lovers' games I love to play with you. And on that hand, there's no reason why it's wrong. But on the other hand, there's a golden band to remind me of someone who would not understand. On one hand, I could stay and be your loving man, but the reason I must go is on the other hand. In your arms, I Feel the passion, I thought it died. When I looked into your eyes, I found myself. And when I first kissed your lips, I felt so alive. I've got to hand it to you, girl. You're something else. 
But on the other hand, there's a golden band to remind me of someone who would not understand. On one hand, I could stay and be your loving man. But the reason I must go is on the other hand. <laughs> oh man, I love me some Randy Travis. GG's guys, a lovely game, lovely game. We had a DC. That means they go on the wall of shame. I'll do it at the I'll do it at the end of the stream. I didn't even notice they DC. Yeah, you DC against a friendly killer. <laughs> I think you're scum at that point. Let me be honest. <laughs> Let me be 100% honest. You DC against a friendly killer, yeah. <laughs> you deserve to be on the wall of shame. Um, I hate NVIDIA. I had an awesome moment and it didn't even record. Oh, I'm sorry, man. That's terrible. Let's go with overcharge. How's that sound? Does that sound delightful? You guys fine with that? Number nine? Hoarder. Hoarder. Okay. Sounds good to me. Okay, so let me tell you guys about Hoarder. A lot of people don't know. Hoarder is a great perk. It is a great perk. So a lot of people understand the value of Lethal Pursuer, right? Lethal Pursuer is great because for nine seconds it tells you, you know, where the survivors are at. But Hoarder is even better than Lethal Pursuer. Because unless you're going against a team that wants to win in four minutes, they're going to be touching them, uh, them chests. And oftentimes when they're touching a chest, they're in a basement. And they're super exposed and ready for you to go and put them right on that juicy basement hook. So I highly recommend Hoarder. It is delightful. It is delightful. So we're going to get rid of Magrit and we're going to put on Hoarder. Sounds good. Sounds good. Ugh. I got a spell. Boo. Boo. Nobody likes spelling. There it is. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Game number six. Uh, Redemption, give Demo Pup an offering favor. Uh, use the cut coin. Well, you know if I use the cut coin, it'll it'll hurt Hoarder, right? Because we uh, the killers remove coins. The survivors, uh, I mean, the killers remove chests. The survivors add chests. But sure, I'll do it. Thank you for the redemption. I greatly appreciate it. I would never recommend doing that. <laughs> if you're going to run Hoarder, I would never recommend doing that as a killer. <laughs> yeah, there'll just be one chest on the thing. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> Game number six. Let's go. I'm in a Randy Travis kind of mood today. I'm going to be honest. I might sing his other song I love. Randy Travis has two songs I absolutely love. <sighs> Let's see what it's called. <clears throat> There it is. I got it loaded and ready to go, ladies and gentlemen. Loaded and ready to go. Yeah, my daughter loves country. Uh, <laughs> I can remember the first time I saw her, she came through the door. She was so spicy. She said, don't make me give you the chicken wing. That's what she said to me. <laughs> oh, man. She loves country. We listen to it together. I always tell her I'm going to buy her Garth Brooks, but the dude ain't on iTunes, man. Like, imagine being so rich you don't let your public buy your songs. <sighs> Whatever, Garth Brooks. 
Would I have to buy her a CD player and buy a collection of his greatest hits? Because I think Garth Brooks is one of the finest country singers we've had in a really long time. This is the second worst map for Demogorgon. The second worst map. The worst map is actually the uh, Cold Wind Farms Rancid Abattoir. Is is a very ah! is a very terrible. Map. And I do love you. God bless you. I hope you're you're having a wonderful, blessed day. Um, thank you for the follow. Hit Bulls Roll TTV. I hope you have an excellent rest of your day and bless you and your family. Um, thank you so much for the follow. Let's go. Let's go. Let's have a good day. Do 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 do. It's the windows that make this a bad map for the Demogorgon. Let me be honest. It's really hard to get a good angle for a shred. I knew you'd do that. Everybody falls for that. Everybody falls for that. Bruh, bruh, hold still. Hey, hey, hey. Listen, I pay you guys to make me look good on the stream. <laughs> I am the talent, okay? You're not supposed to, you know, try and make me look bad in front of my my constituency. <laughs> what you doing, bruh? What you doing? <laughs> I don't understand. This is these are not the paid actors I asked for. Okay, we need two, three, four, two, three, four. Just trying to have a fun time. Bruh, you ran straight back here? No way. Sit down. Bruh. That is not a good loop. Hey, this is what this is more my action right here. This is what I was looking for. Don't you hate it when you're the killer and you can find a person that's unhooked but you can't find their unhooker? I hate that, man. You know? It, it doesn't feel great. It doesn't feel great. I was busy talking instead of looking at scratch marks. My bad. You're a quick one. Oh, we got the lightborn, baby. We got the lightborn. What you gonna do? What you gonna do, Bill? Your flashlight has no power here. Two, three, four. We need two, three, four. <laughs> he was uh, he was resigned to his fate at that point. He was like, <laughs> I give up. <laughs> oh. What do we need? Two and four. Two and four. Somebody been touching my stuff. And I don't like it. I can't remember. Listen, I'm an old man. I, I get mixed up all the time. I mix up uh, the survivors I put. It's always harder on me when multiple people play the same survivor. Oh, you actually weren't going to hit me with it. That's shocking. Normally survivors just can't wait to smack me in the face with a pallet. It's like their favorite thing to do. Lithe Gamer. Lithe Gamer. He do be zooming. Zoom, 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 zoom. Ah, in your face, man. <laughs> How you like them apples, baby? <laughs> uh, we need one more survivor. Unfortunately, they all look alike to me. All the Deweets look exactly the same. Uh, this ain't going to be as easy as it sounds. We got some scratch marks coming this way. No, we, we, we found you before. We found you before. Hook saved behind me. There's a Dwight. I think he looks different. This might... Oh, no. I bet this is the one I've already hooked, isn't it? This is the one I've already downed. Ugh. You hate to see it. 
I will never understand why the game didn't give me that hit. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I pressed the button in plenty of time and it stuttered and wouldn't give me the hit. It's so weird. Uh, we're just looking for one Dwight and we will be done with this game. Do, 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 do. Listen, if I didn't know any better, I think these survivors don't want to get, don't want to get chased. Guys, I'm doing you a solid here. I'm doing you a favor. I'm trying to help you up, Pip. Eat your spinach. Did you guys' parents ever make you eat spinach? Don't you just hate that? Don't you hate eating spinach? Isn't it the worst? If you're really old, you can remember drinking cod liver oil. That's the worst. Kids nowadays have no idea. I think this is the dude we already hit before, so I'm going to leave him alone. And I'm going to look for number two. That dude is riding generators like their sea biscuit at Churchill Downs. Homeboy is going for a... He's going for a triple crown, man. I might not be able to give him any points. He's doing great. Yeah, I think we're done. GG's. There's no reason to force anything. Okay, we, we don't actually want him. He's, he's actually at the safest pallet on the entire map anyway. Yeah, we're done. GG's. Uh, yeah, and they have the, the good window, which they messed up. <laughs> I don't know. I don't play Survivor, so it's hard for me to judge, really. <laughs> Let's see if I can give this song any justice. Well, I've heard those city singers singing about how they can love deeper than the oceans and higher than the stars above. Well, I come from the country and I know I ain't seen it all. Nah, see, I messed up that part. Well, I come from the country. No, I ain't seen Nah, I need to practice this off stream. I'm gonna mess it up. I already messed up the melody on that part. But I promise I'll practice it and I'll do it later. You gotta know what you can do and what you can't do. And I can tell I have completely missed the the mark on this song. I'm sitting here trying to figure out how to get the words right. Mm, I'll do it off stream. We'll, we'll go with a song we, we know we know how to sing. How about that? Instead of messing that one up. <laughs> uh, take two tomorrow. Lord willing. Lord willing, we'll do it tomorrow. GG's, my lovely. GG's. I tried to give you all points, but the one guy didn't want any. Good game. Good game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's put on a... Uh, and you know, that's the thing about life, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? Don't ever, don't ever worry about failing at something. Listen, either you do it or you don't. Ain't no shame in practicing stuff. Ain't no shame in making mistakes. And I'm really hard to embarrass anyway, in case you guys didn't know that. <laughs> what would you guys like to see? We got Dragon's Grip, Hex Retribution, Knockout, and Overcharge. What would you guys like to see? The cut coin was worth it? I don't remember seeing anybody touch a chest the entire game. I'm going to be honest. I mean, yeah, if you want a Sabo, it's, it's definitely worth it. It hurts. It hurts Hoarder tremendously. Definitely. All right, I think I'll go with Dragon's Grip. Let's get rid of the third seal. Let's go with Dragon's Grip. 
Sounds delightful. So the way this perk works is, I kick a generator, and in the next 30 seconds, the first survivor that touches it will scream, reveal their location for four seconds, and you can one hit down them. But I believe it has to be with the M1. I don't think M2 will down them, because Noed doesn't seem to work with M2 either. And I could be wrong, because I, I rarely, if ever have used no ed. Um, but I believe you have the M1. But we'll try this, we'll try this perk out. It sounds good to me. Let's go. Let's do it. Game number seven. Game number seven. Let's rock and roll. The Leprous Lichen. The Leprous Lichen. That's a really good add-on, in fact. That's his that's considered his best add-on. Thank you. I greatly appreciate it. Frosty, I've played this person before. This is a really good survivor. Let's go. Let's do it. Go to sing a song. It's by Willie Nelson. You guys like Willie Nelson. I think he's lovely. I can have the mansion that's higher than the trees. I can have all the gifts I want. And never ask, please. And I can fly to Paris. Oh, that's at my beck and call. So why do I go through life with nothing at all? But when I dream, I dream of you. Maybe someday it will come true. And I can be the singer or the clown in every room. I can even call someone to take me to the moon. I can put my fake up on and drive the crowds insane. I can go to bed alone and never even know her name. But when I dream, I dream of you. Maybe someday it will come true. But when I dream, I dream of you. Maybe someday it will come true. I love Willie Nelson. I think he's fantastic. I really do. And in case you guys are wondering, that song was featured in the hit movie called Shiri. That's what it's called. Shiri. It is a South Korean production about a North Korean assassin who falls in love with a South Korean detective. But what's going to happen to get in between their love? Such a great, it's such a great movie. It's a great song. I love Willie Nelson. In the corn again. Dead by daylight put us in the corn again. Do, 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 do. Back that way and I'm in the corn again. In the corn again, like a band of gypsies headed on the highway. That looked like Sprintburst. On a bill? No way. No way. Sprintburst. Gotcha, baby. I got you, baby. My name is Alexander Hamilton. How you like them apples? <laughs> I am such a child. I'm a man-child. I'm a grown-up man-child. I cannot help myself. Two, three, four. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Why does it bring my heart such great delight? <laughs> oh, man. Just, I don't know how to explain it, guys. I really love Dead by Daylight. 
It is just so fun. We need two, three, and four. Two, three, and four. You can go your own way. You can go your own way. Hey, Kevin. How you doing, brother? How you doing, my dude? Duder? Duderino? Put you right here. And I guess I'll set up a 3-gen and just see where everybody's at. We still need number 3 and 4. We're having a good time. Let's go. Let's have a great time. Let's have a great time. Let's use this beautiful add-on that was donated to us. It fills our heart with love and joy and delight. Absolutely poggers, poggerinos. Well, we still hadn't found Frosty. Like I said, I've played Frosty before. They're really good. But we're working on it. We're working on it. Bruh. Somebody ain't waiting. Somebody ain't waiting. I seen the scratch marks. I don't want him. Bill's crouched hiding, but that's the only person I saw. Where is the Claudette? I don't see her. Okay, it wasn't Bill. It was actually the, uh, the new dude. I don't even remember his name. What's his name? Johnny Football Hero? I don't remember his name. Listen, they come out with way too many characters in this game. This old man cannot be expected to, to remember all these names. It's the one that looks like Ox Darva, right? That's what everybody says. They say he looks like Ox Darva. I don't think so. But that's what the DBD subreddit said. And again, we did not see Frosty anywhere. She's doing a most excellent job. I think this is her running across the shack right here, but I could be wrong. Bill, get out my way. There she is. There she goes. There she goes again. You see, she threw that pallet immediately. This is a quality survivor. They not playing around. They playing to win, baby. They playing to win. Come on, Frosty, give me the business. Give me the business. Oh, there must have been some magic in that old silk hat she wore. Cause when we placed it on her head, she began to dance around the doo do doo -do. Frosty the Survivor. Do 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 do. Down in the village. We're done. We had a fun game. I guess I need to use Dragon's Grip, right? S.A. Jacqueline, I do love you with all my heart. You are a delightful person. You are a delightful artist. You're an amazing killer. Uh, you have the best accent of anyone in this game in history. And thank you so much. God bless you and your family. Muzzle top. And I hope you have a, a, a delightful, beautiful day. I really, really do. do, 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 do. I, I tried to kick the generator, guys. It wouldn't kick. <laughs> Literally, I was like, kick it. Here we go. We'll kick this one. You gotta fight. Oh, you're right to Dragon's Grip. 
do 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 hey, 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 hey winner winner chicken dinner let's see if m2 works nope you have to m1 the person that screams feels bad man bruh <laughs> You gotta move with a little bit more emphasis there, sweetheart. <laughs> Put your sweet lips a little closer to my claws. <laughs> and I can tell she never been shred down before. Let's go, baby. This game is over. We had a fun time. This was a delightful team. They made my heart happy. It was a lot of fun, and I hope they had a good time, too. Thank you so much for the subscription, Jacqueline. Really, greatly appreciate you so much. Yeah, I love that Minnesota accent. Are you kidding me? I, I even clipped it yesterday. It was delightful. Jacqueline was playing Portal 2. Let me tell you guys about Jacqueline. She is so artistic. Her and Prowling Dead are like... I wish I had like one finger's worth of skill that these two people have. I am not artistic at all. They're just amazing. I wish I could do the stuff they did. He makes these these outros that are just, they're out of this world good. Like, give the man a follow, please. And Jacqueline, um, she's working towards an adoption. Definitely follow her. Give her all your, all your soda pop money. Help her out, man. Like, that is a worthy cause. There is no more worthy cause. These people are enamored with my portals for some reason. I don't get it. I don't see the attraction. I don't see the attraction. SA love, SA life, SA love. <laughs> Nate, you got some great uh you got some great emotes, my dude. And you got them animated too. That's amazing. Hamburger can't even draw a stick man correctly. Listen, I'm such a bad artist. This is a true story. I'm such a bad artist that uh, I would draw stick men, and I would draw them like Street Fighter 2 style, you know what I'm saying? Um, that was the extent of the art that I was ever able to create in, uh, in life. That's it. Stick person art. That's all I was ever able to do. <laughs> yeah, I hope you guys have a, have a really wonderful Sunday. It's been a it's been a really good day. I've had a good time. We messed up on one song. That's okay. You know that's life. But we'll we'll nail it next time. We just gotta practice. Now the question is is how lazy is Brother Love? Is he actually gonna practice the song off stream? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna be honest with you. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. Uh, I want to. Does that count? I want to practice it. <laughs> we done, guys. I can't farm. I can't farm. That's illegal. That's the one surefire way I know I get banned from this game. They already want me to get banned. People on Reddit and on the actual forums have already asked for me to be banned. <sighs> nah, I can't do it, man. I can't do it. I can't farm. That would actually give them an excuse to ban me. No, thank you. So we got a, I reckon we got three games left in the stream, ladies and gentlemen. Three games left in the stream, and then we'll call it, and then we'll find somebody who's beautiful and delightful and way more awesome than me, and we will raid them. I raided that guy yesterday, but I kind of regret it a little bit afterwards. I think he's a great person, and he's super chill. I'm not 100% cool with his music choice though, that, whew, I felt a little bit bad about that raid. I should have vetted him a little bit more. <sighs> Probably going to have to take him off my, uh, I try to raid everybody, but I might have to skip him a little bit. Bruh, just, just leave, just leave, just leave, dude, just leave. I don't need the blood points. Just leave. 
I don't understand that. Whatever. GG's. Do, 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 do. Do 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 Yeah, I love old Willie Nelson, man. I always liked him. Uh and I do love you. God bless you and thank you so much for the follow. Uh Zayrox QC, God bless you. GG, pretty good killer. Well, thank you for saying that. You are being way too kind. You're being way too kind. I am, uh, I'm brand new to this game. Uh, this is based on a true story by Hollywood. I'm, I'm very new to this game. Um, don't know what's going on. Uh, but it all looks so exciting and fun to me. So I hope that you had a good game. <laughs> I hope you had a good game. Oh, my gosh, that's so funny. Um... <laughs> And you guys were absolutely delightful to play against. You really were. Thank you for the party streamers. Uh, I'm not allowed to farm, though. If I farm, they'll definitely ban me. Uh, without, without any hesitation whatsoever. Um, what would you guys like to see? Hex Retribution, Knockout, or Overcharge? Hex Retribution, Knockout, or Overcharge? <laughs> I don't understand your gameplay, but thanks. <laughs> Uh, we're a hero. We, we we used to be toxic, but we has reformed. We has reformed. We have turned a new leaf, ladies and gentlemen. We have turned a new leaf in life. See, we're proof that you can you can change. You can evolve. You can evolve. The 14th sounds delightful. Overcharge. Let's go, baby. Let's get rid of Hoarder. No, let's get rid of Dragon's Grip. I don't like that perk. I've never liked Dragon's Grip. Because I can't M2 and get the down, you know? What's the point? Especially on Demogorgon. If I was playing Freddy, it would be delightful. It would be a great perk to go with Pop Goes the Weasel. But as a Demogorgon, it's, a, it's no moss. It's not, it's not any good. Okay, so we're going to replace Dragon's Grip with Overcharge. Delightful. Delightful. Let's go. We are getting very close to evolution number four, which is going to be some really great perks. And I hope you guys noticed that beautiful artwork by Jacqueline. Because it is, uh, it is outstanding. This is La Tigra by Jacqueline. And this is Zach Brannigan by Jacqueline. In three games, at the end of the stream, I'm going to play one extra game that does not count against this streak. This game is just for YouTube purposes. It's called uh, the Zach Brannigan, Brannigan's Law Build. Um, but I have been dying to use this build forever, and I'm going to be doing it today. So That'll be in four games. But just to show you guys one more time, this is the uh, this is the beautiful Zap Brannigan thing that S.A. Jacqueline made, and this is the Latigra. Absolutely beautiful artist, amazing, amazing. Let's go, man. Let's do it. Let's uh, let's get this show on the road. We need to overcharge. So you might be wondering, where did you get the idea from the evolutions from? Well, Ots Darva. He's this, uh, he's this brand new streamer that not a lot of people know about. Um, <laughs> he, uh, he did a tier list of every single perk in the game, and he gave them between one and five stars. So the higher up in the evolution we go, the better perks we're going to end up with. It's going to be absolutely delightful. Let's go. Game number eight, ladies and gentlemen. Let's sing a song. We have been too long without a song. Let's go. As travel through life with this trouble and strife, I've a glorious hope to get cheer on the way. Simitol will be over and I'll rest on that shore where the night has been turned into day. Up in the beautiful paradise valley by the side of the river of life. Up in the valley, the wonderful valley will be free from all pain and all strife. And there we shall live in the rose-tinted garden neath the shade of the evergreen tree. How I long for the paradise valley 
Where the beauty of heaven I'll see Though your garden is rare It is not to compare With the flowers that bloom in the garden above In the midst of it grows Sharon's perfect sweet rose Tis the wonderful flower we love Up in the beautiful paradise valley By the side of the river of life up in the valley, the wonderful valley will be free from all pain and all strife. And there we shall live in the rose-tinted garden, neat the shade of the evergreen tree. How I long for the paradise valley, where the beauty of heaven I'll see. Love it. It reminds me of Demolition Man. You guys ever watched that movie with Sylvester Stallone? And what got popular in the future was the jingles from the uh, the 80s. I used to love that. Dude was singing like the Jolly Green Giant Green Bean song on a piano for his fancy customers. It was hilarious. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is definitely the kind of movie I can I can get behind. John Spartan, you have been fined five credits for, <laughs> for not knowing how to use the three seashells. <laughs> it's a corn kind of day, guys. It's a corn kind of day. Every map, corn. <laughs> Every map. Let's go, baby. Yesterday I was on backwater swamp all day long. Today it's corn. But good news for me is that uh, the Silent Assassins Tournament picked the Backwater Swamp for their uh, competitive tournament. And, uh, bruh, we absolutely, we curb stomped those teams yesterday. It was, uh, what I, oh no, what I meant to say was we were really big heroes yesterday and we saved a lot of people. Mm hmm That's what happened yesterday. We double pipped every game. It was, it was an absolute delight. It really was. Sometimes it just, it feels good to be a hero. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. Bruh, why are you guys breaking my portals? Touch generators instead. What's going on? And then he runs like a coward. Embarrassing. What a chicken. Come here, chicken little. <laughs> here, chick, 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 chick. Where are you going? Where are you going? You shift W gaming? This girl's looking at me like no woman ever looked at me in my entire life. Like, bruh. <laughs> either either she's got either she's got dead heart or I'm just beautiful. That's that is the only conclusion I can possibly draw from this interaction with this random survivor right here. <laughs> Let's go, man. Let's go. Where are you taking me? Give me the business. Run me for five gins. See if I care. I give you a secret. I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. <laughs> Hit me with every single pallet. It's going to be completely fine. Do 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 do. Is not to compare. Nah, you're not as good as you think you are. I'm just playing around. Sharon's perfect sweet rose. Tis the wonderful flower we love. Man, you're so amazing at throwing pallets. It's such skill, such athleticism, such an amazing survivor. And I lost her in the corn, not even lying. Don't get old, guys. Don't get old. That's my best advice I can give you. It's not fun to be old. She's right there. Oh, come on, DVD. That was hogwash. That was hogwash. Hey, the game is almost over. Good job. Good job, guys. You guys are doing delightfully. Delightfully, she hit around the corner. And now what, you want a body block for her? What kind of scum are you? <laughs> what kind of scum are you guys? Seriously. Oh, my God. <sighs> I just want to stop playing right now. I'm not even joking. Who wants to play against a team like this? Absolutely wonderful, man. 
<laughs> You're absolutely wonderful. I hope you guys get everything that's coming to you in life. <laughs> You're so good. I wish this had been my 11th game because I would have absolutely curb stomped this team. You gotta love the new Dead Hard validation. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. What'd you do? Jump in the locker? I think she's in the locker. No, she got away from me. Good job. I call it like I see it. The girl somehow disappeared from me. Good game, guys. I'm done. I'm done. I don't know what more to do here. You guys played this game like it was uh, an eSport. I take my hat off to you. Good job, guys. Well, it's not my problem because this is what's going to happen. One person will pip this game and the rest of them won't. And they could have all pipped if they wanted to. That's really not my problem. It's not my job to make sure that survivors pip. It's just the kindness that I do to be nice to survivors. So let's turn off the audio so we don't have to listen to them be three years old. And uh, I'm still going to GG them at the end. They played well. I mean, you know, I'm a super sweaty killer too, so I understand how they're, how they're feeling. There you go, guys. GG's. Have a good day. Go do it to some other killer. Let's sing a song. Let's lift our spirits up a little bit. That wasn't, uh, that wasn't as fun as it looked, trust me. I wish I had gotten them for game 11. Because I promise you, I would have murked this team. Ugh. Why did you have to play me during the nice streak? <laughs> God is calling the prodigal, come without delay. Hear, oh, hear him calling, calling now for thee. Though you wander so far from his presence, come today. Hear his loving voice calling still. Calling now for thee. O oh, weary prodigal, come. Calling now for thee. O oh, weary prodigal, come. Come, there's bread in the house of thy father and to spare. Hear, O oh, hear him calling, calling now for thee. Lo, the table is spread and the feast is waiting there. Hear his loving voice calling still. Calling now for thee, O oh, weary prodigal, come. Calling now for thee, O oh, weary prodigal, come. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's see. We got Hex Retribution and we got Knockout. <laughs> A gentleman doesn't discuss his age. <laughs> a gentleman doesn't discuss how old he is <laughs> but I'm old I'm old enough to have had cod liver oil as a kid so that's a hint <laughs> uh, I think I'll go with hex retribution that sounds good we're going to remove overcharge since we got so much value out of it last game and uh, we will put on hex retribution let's go Overcharge for Hex Retribution. Sounds delightful. GG's. I'm going to be honest with you guys, age is just a number anyway. I feel exactly the same as I did when I was 16 years old. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> okay, so we're exchanging overcharge for hex retribution. Let's go. Let's do it. This is game number nine of the stream. 
There are two games left in the official stream, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, then I have a very special game that does not, it's not part of the streak. But I need to make a YouTube video today for uh, Brannigan's Law. <sighs> and we are going to, uh, with much happiness and enthusiasm, <laughs> play that build. Especially after that last game. Woo! I've never wanted to compete so bad before in my life. But we pulled it together. We took it like champs. You know, this is the danger of playing Friendly Killer. Is uh, You're just going to get absolutely smurfed on sometimes, like we did that game. And they sure smurfed me, I tell you that much. <laughs> I take my hat off to them. They're obviously skilled and delightful individuals. They did wonderfully. They did wonderfully. <laughs> seven. Seven is not my age. <laughs> I just want you to imagine how old I am, and, and I'm completely fine with that number. <laughs> uh, I'm completely fine with that number. Let's go, baby. Let's do it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I wish, Nate. <laughs> As far as I'm aware, I'm the oldest person in Silent Assassins, but I don't know everybody in Silent Assassins. <sighs> yeah, you just a you just a young man in his prime. You're you are full of vinegar and and all the lovely things. Life is great. Life is good. Just Embrace it, man. You, you, you at the peak, brother. You at the peak. You uh, enjoy that time, man. Enjoy it. <laughs> it's because they're silent. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Two, two games left, and then we do our secret, our super secret game that doesn't count against us. And I'm going to show you guys Brannigan's Law. Brought to you by S.A. Jacqueline. Amazing artist. Well, let's go. Let's do it. I had a lot of fun last night. when I After I hit Eerie 1 as killer, I played a lot of Diablo 2 and watched my favorite streamers. Um, which would be you guys. <laughs> and uh, I was just farming to count us and uh, I finally got to Indario I think I'm level 17 um, I can start farming her now it's super scary to play hardcore Diablo 2 though because all it takes is for a little bit of lag and me to misunderstand how much damage they're doing and that character has gone forever so it's a little bit exciting I'm going to be honest, Brother Love doesn't typically play hardcore games, um, because I hate to lose. I hate to lose. I can't stand it. There is there is a competition within me that not only must I win, but I must see my opponents lose. Um, that's from the movie, uh, There Shall Be Blood, Daniel Day Lewis, by the way. That's my favorite line from the movie. But it, it accurately sums me up. I'm, I'm going to admit it. I know exactly how he feels. Ooh, Frog Dub's online. Frog Dub is the kind of streamer. She's a survivor main. We need one, two, and four. And uh, she's the kind of person that says, Holy Hannah. Um, which I didn't know was a any kind of a, a curse word or anything. But apparently you say that in substitute for anything bad that you want to say and it, it makes it good somehow but she's pretty funny to watch I like I like watching her we need one two and four one two and four I don't watch many survivors I'm gonna be honest with you as a killer main I'm always trying to find out some new tricks 
So I watch a lot of killer mains. Hey, dude, what up, homie? Yeah, you know, I can just walk right through that. You know that, right? The laziest mind game you ever do in your entire life, what I did right there. Super lazy. But it works. We need number two and four. We need the witch and Mr. King. Hey, it's a witch! Burn the witch! <laughs> we need the witch and Mr. King. You got me. You hit me right in the money maker. Listen, you don't get these dashing good looks without taking at least a hundred pallets to the face every single day. I promise you that much, ladies and gentlemen. She's a quick one. She's a zoomer. Threw the best pallet in the entire map. Thank you. If I was actually trying to win, that would be uh, amazing. I'll tell you guys something about Demogorgon you probably didn't know. Demogorgon scales based upon how many good pallets are left on the map. If there's not a lot of good pallets left, he is one of the strongest killers in Dead by Daylight history. Her throwing that one pallet made me significantly stronger on this map. Okay, so we're just looking for Mr. King. And we will be done, though. We will be done, though. Hey! Ask and we shall receive. Delightful. You know I can hear, right? I have ears. I mean, that would have been great if he had had quick and quiet. It would have been wonderful. Went through that window. Went through that window. And we're done. And scene. Good job, ladies and gentlemen. You were, you were delightful to play. Much more fun than that last game where... I don't even know how they had fun that game. I'm going to be honest with you. What, did they get like 10,000 points or something? Like, <laughs> how did they even have fun that game? I don't think a team like that plays for fun. I think they play for uh, competitive reasons. But according to everybody I've ever talked to, you're never going to actually face a comp team in, in your daily life in Dead by Daylight. So we must be mistaken. That was just your average run-of-the-mill beginner team that we faced um yeah that's what reddit told me they said you've never faced a comp team in your life i have to take their word for it they are the experts let's sing a song they let somebody die I think you guys are scum, I'm gonna be honest with you. Why would you let somebody die against a friendly killer? That's pathetic. It feels bad to be that extra person, doesn't it? That must have been the extra person in the game. There's a beautiful place called heaven. It is hidden above the bright blue Where the good who from earth ties are riven Live in love and eternity through Above the bright blue The beautiful blue Jesus is waiting for me and for you Heaven is there, not far from our side. Beautiful city of light. We know not when he shall call us. Whither soon the glad summons shall be. But we know when we pass o'er the river. The glory of Jesus we'll see Above the bright blue The beautiful blue 
Jesus is waiting for me and for you. Heaven is there, not far from our sight. Beautiful city of light. Let's finish it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's uh, let's wrap this game up with a pretty little bow. We got one more game, and then I can do my YouTube video. And uh, you're seeing it exclusively here. I'm gonna cut it from the highlight. This is only for you guys. Um, and I'm gonna do Brannigan's Lawn. If these guys will ever, ever, ever finish the game. Let's go. <sighs> um, is it legal to use the offering redemption ten times in a row? Yeah, I don't I don't see why it would matter, I'm gonna be honest with you. Um what is Reddit? Reddit is a forum that used to be the bastion of free speech on the internet. Um but unfortunately, they've really cracked down on that lately. Um, imagine, if you will, all the works of humanity written throughout history. I heard that Reddit had more written on it at its peak in a single day than all the written works of humanity. I don't know if that's true. It's just what I heard. It is a very popular online forum. Um, GG's my lovelies. GG's. Hope you have a great day. I feel really bad for that one guy who died on hook. Um, yeah. But you shouldn't have touched that. That's, uh, that'll definitely get you in trouble with a lot of people. Had to shut the door when my family's watching a movie. Oh, let's go. Last transformation, ladies and gentlemen. Last evolution of the day. Well, that's an easy one. I think I'd rather have... I don't even know what Hex Retribution did. Let me be honest with you. I'm sure it did something, but I don't know what. So we'll go with Knockout. Knockout means I have to slug somebody this game. For those of you who have never let four survivors bleed out on the ground, you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> It is an absolute <laughs> delightful feeling. Um, <laughs> uh, but we can't do that this game. We, we cannot do that. That's a that's a no-no. That is a no-no. There it is. Absolutely beautiful. Let's go. We are done with our third evolution. We're going to get to the really good perks next evolution, guys. That's when things really start to feel really good. Let's go. So this is the last game of the stream, officially. Um, you know, you know, you know what's gonna happen. I don't wanna keep saying it over and over because anybody who watches this in the future in a VOD won't get to see the next game. <sighs> Let's go, my lovely survivors. We have had a really good day. And I'm very grateful to all of you for chatting with me and talking with me. And You know, you guys tell me how your day is. I would love to hear it. Tell me what's going on in your life. Are you survivor mains? Are you killer mains? What do you like? What brings joy to your life? Friday night at Freddy's. Craft. Um, I've never played Friday Night at Freddy's, but I hear that uh, it's quite popular. I've never played it though, so I wouldn't know. Listen, who has time for anything when you got when you got Dead by Daylight going on in your life? You know what I'm saying? Who has time for anything at that point? Like, this consumes all my free time. Just about. <sighs> Hey, 
Hamburger is a killer main. Most of his matches are horrible. That is a very good description for a current day Dead by Daylight. Most of the matches are horrible. Amen. That is exceptionally well put, Hamburger. Exceptionally well put. Yeah. I, I feel you there. I really do. But have you ever played a game with Knockout? <laughs> it will change the way you enjoy Dead by Daylight. Let me recommend Bubba, Knockout, Sloppy Butcher, Lightborn, and uh, what's another good one? Anything else you want. A Nurse's Calling, Bamboozle, and just go around slug them. Just slug her. Don't even M2. Just didn't want them. Use M2 on the pallets. Um, just go around slug everybody. You will feel so good about Dead by Daylight at the end of that game. I promise. <laughs> Bubba is absolutely delightful to play. He is a delight. Any killer that uses knockout is pretty fun except for the twins. Because Charlotte's a very garbage killer and Victor is a very great killer. This is a fair map. If I was to, to fight a good team on this map, I would feel very good about my chances. So we're looking for hoarder value, but we have to slug somebody too, so we will slug after our first hooks. Let's go. Hey, it's a Claudette. No, 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 no. We, we go after Claudettes because we know the secret. The secret is Claudettes are super sneaky and we must... We must chase a Claudette. It is the law. It's Brannigan's law. I didn't make it, I just enforced it. Come on, Claude, don't be that way. Why are you playing hard to get? Why are you playing hard to get, Claude? I can't just let him do it in my face, man. I mean, I gotta... I gotta have some scruples, right? I gotta do something. Even though I wanted Claudette, I I could never live with myself if I just let them finish a generator right in front of me. We need one, three, and four. One, three, and four. Man, you must think you're really good. We got us a little, uh... We got us a little Willy Shakespeare here, ladies and gentlemen. We got us a little angry pug here. Got a survivor of such outstanding quality they think I won't notice him walking up to me. And we got an AFK survivor. Guys, if you have an AFK survivor, always do this. You don't look a gift horse in the mouth, okay? You just accept it. Now we just need number one, and we're done. Just like that. There we go, nice and comfy. Now I'm gonna walk away from these guys so they can get the saves. We're not trying to kill anybody. We're gonna be a really nice host and let them go. Nah, they decided to do a generator first. Gin is before friends, baby. Gin is before friends. It is the survivor code. And then they blame the killer for bad stuff that happens. You tunneled me. No, they left you on the hook to die. I mean, literally, I watched the whole thing. <laughs> I had nothing to do with your death whatsoever. Somebody's on a gin. Okay, it just exploded. Come on, man. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I knew I wasn't hearing things. GG's, my lovelies. GG's. Yeah, you deserve that. You definitely outskilled me there by pressing a button. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? 
Whew. I've never seen such amazing talent before in my entire life. I think they should remove Dead Heart from the game. <laughs> think about it like this, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not even joking. If a killer makes one mistake against a really good team, they lose the game. One mistake. All it takes is one dedicated dead hard and for them to make it to the next tile and you lose the game. That's how difficult it is at high MMR. <sighs> Listen, if I had half a brain, I'd be a survivor main. I'm going to be honest with you. If I had half a brain, I'd be a survivor main. Hey, Jacqueline, and welcome back. Oh, did I not knock somebody out? My bad. Let's go knock somebody out. I gotta make sure I use these perks. Brother Love, or, Brother Love don't want to let people down. We gotta... Maybe we'll find Claudette. No? Yep, there she is. We gotta make sure we use knockout this game. See, you're supposed to throw it before I am to. Before I am to. That's when you're supposed to throw the pallet. Nah, I will I will chase you down, Claudette. There we go. There we go. Okay, now we let him finish the game. This is the last song of the stream, and uh, I'll put up the Be Right Back screen after this game, and then I'll do my super secret game for you guys. Last song of the stream. I'll reach the land of corn and wine, and all its riches freely mine. There shines undimmed one blissful day, for all my night will pass away. Oh, Beulah land, sweet Beulah land, as on thy highest mount I stand. I look away across the sea, where mansions are prepared for me, and view the shining glory shore, my heaven, my home, forevermore. The zephyrs seem to flow to me, sweet sounds of heaven's melody. As angels with the white robe throng join in the sweet redemption song. Oh, Beulah land, sweet Beulah land, as on thy highest mount I stand. I look away across the sea, where mansions are prepared for me, and view the shining glory shore, my heaven, my home. Forevermore. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's wrap this up. That's what Dave Chappelle said. Let's wrap it up. You gotta, you gotta go low in a zigzag pattern. That's that's the two things I remember from Dave Chappelle. GG, my lovely. GG. Good game. Good game. <sighs> Prowling Dead said, I don't see how I win half the matches I do, because you're good. You win because you're good. You did fantastic. You're not a bad killer at all. You're a great killer. I watch you play all the time. You're amazing. Um, we had Chipotle. Ooh, delightful. Uh, hamburger would like to mention this in a secret game. If Hamburger didn't have IQ5, he would main survivor. Yeah. I would, uh, I would definitely main Survivor if I had any common sense at all. This game is, it has shifted completely to the Survivor side since I've been playing it. Every single patch, something new comes out that makes it harder on the killer. <sighs> I don't think these guys understand what's going on. But that's okay. That is all right. I'm going to put up the Be Right Back screen for just a second. 
so I'll know where to make the cut at when I cut this. And then I'm gonna do Brannigan's Law. Oh my gosh, they're three years old. How adorable. Mommy let you borrow the PC this weekend? How adorable. That's the thing that irritates me the most about survivors. I don't care really about losing games, but when they jump across stuff to make noise, oh, that's so irritating. <sighs> I am excited. The world premiere. The world premiere. GG's. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, let's get this party started.